Hey guys, Alex here. Guys, Alex HD here, and today I'm here with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing, well, another PvP comparison against two legendary hand cannons, the Ostringer and the Kindled Orchid. Now, before I actually get into this video, I'd like to say that I'm very sorry for last week, since, well, people who, if you've read the description, last week was, well, I had a video planned, and, well, it, it just, well, what can I say, it just went down the drain, so... I had to quickly upload the new ones and it was rushed so this one might come out a day or two after like after schedule since like, this one i'm putting more effort into just for that well mistake last week anyway after that after saying that all of that anyway time to get into the video so let's start off with the ostringer with the well perks now because these two weapons are, well, legendary hand cannons, they can... Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Um, because these two weapons are legendary hand cannons, that means they can have random rolls since well, they're legendary, not exotics. Now, with random rolls is that they can be ridiculously good or ridiculously bad, so... Saying I can't really judge how good these weapons are because, well... Both my rolls are quite random. Anyway, let's start with the Ostringer's perks. The Ostringer, well, my Ostringer has small bore, third magwell, air assault, and opening shot. And it just, before I actually say anything else, these weapons are tier 3 weapons, so they're not masterworked. That, that's just something to keep in mind. They're tier 3, not masterworked. And. My Ostringer, I put on it tar targeting adjuster, sensing well, makes better target acquisition. That's basically why. And now, time to move on to the Kindled Orchid. The Kindled Orchid has extended barrel, accurized rounds, surrounded, and rampage. Yet again, it's a tier 3 weapon, and I put on rampage spec, increases duration of rampage. Now, as I said, you can't really can't really judge these two weapons based on well you can't I can't judge them based on my perks I need to like get a gold roll to well judge them at their best now my kindled orchid I say is closer to a god roll than an Ostringer since in air assault and opening shot I mean air assault is kind of, can kind of be good but you're not really going to be in the air for that long Opening shot is good, but well, you, that's only the first shot, and well, it doesn't really account for any other shot. Um, flared magwell, that's good, and small board, well, it increases range and increases stability, so that's also good. For my kindled orchid, extended extended barrel is good and bad, since it has increased range, but it decreases handling. Um, Acrobat rounds just increases range. That's always good. Surrounded, whenever there's three enemies around you in close proximity, you do more damage. Good when you're in six v six. Bad, bad in well rumble, I'd say, mainly because you're by yourself and there's always enemies around you. And well, you're not always gonna find three enemies around you. There could only be like one or two. And rampage is always good since well, it's rampage and it does more damage every time you get a kill. Stacks up three times, and yeah, time to go on to the stats now. For so first for the Ostringer, it has 84 mm -hmm. impact. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't even know what my first one. 58 range, 74 stability, 55 handling, a reload speed of 65, 140 rounds per minute, and a magazine of 11. So that's the stats of my Ostringer. Now time to move over to the Kindled Orchid. The Kindled Orchid, or my Kindled Orchid, has 84 impact, 63 range, 56 stability, 41 handling, a reload speed of 49, around 140 rounds per minute, and a magazine of 10. So, when talking about the stats, the Ostringer has, well, has better stability, better handling, and better reload speed, and a higher magazine. However, the Kindled Orchid has a better range. Now, as much as people say, oh, like, 
yeah, people like it's the same thing with the Lumina and the and the Rose like because the Lumina had m more stats that were better. People thought it was better. Like most people would think of that, but usually range is usually the best thing on a hand cannon since well, hand cannons have massive like damage drop off and also. 140s are getting a buff like when Beyond Light comes out, so like it, it might be a buff to range, so they won't be as bad anymore. And well, it is also theorized that 140s might get a buff because 150s have always been like the best kind of hand cannon to use in well, in PvP since you know, like they just had the fastest time to kill, and range didn't really matter on a hand cannon. It, Range really only mattered on a 140 and a 110 hand cannon, but now it doesn't. Well, like, the 150s, they just, they benefit from, like, close range than long range, and 140s and 110s benefit from longer ranges, even though it's still the fact that, even though they benefit from longer ranges, it's also the fact that, um, they don't even have that great of a long range distance, like, Pulse rifles or assault rifles, like auto rifles, and like you could say submachine guns, maybe still can shoot for, still can like shoot farther than them. Like, when I mean shoot farther, I mean like they do more damage at longer ranges, so it's still it made 140s and 110s irrelevant 150s. So, and that's also why I'm comparing these two because they're both top tier 140s. I, I would say to Ace of Spades is still the best 140, but these two are closest in second. Now, let's talk about the gameplay. That was kind of a long rant I just made off. Anyway, so when when I was playing these, what playing when I was using these two weapons in game, I did I preferred the Kindled Orchid that had closer ranges, and well longer ranges as well. The Arm Stringer was also good. Like they were, I mean they were both really good weapons. They do the exact same amount of damage and. Oh, and the um the old string only made it has one more bullet like it has one more round in the magazine so I did prefer that and I did also prefer the old string was like handling and stuff but and yeah the old string did feel better to use but I think that the kindled orchid felt better at longer range like the kindled orchid felt better at longer range and it. Even though it didn't feel as good to use as the Ostringer in handling and close ranges and stuff, it still felt really good. Not and the Ostringer also felt good with range, even though the Kindled Orchid did feel better. Now, when I was when I'm talking about these two weapons, I can't really say that one's better. Like in my final verdict, I'll I'll like I'll probably say a bit more about it, but like the one the reason why I can't really say it which one's better than the others and seeing they they have random roles like if i could determine the best if they had the exact same perks and stuff but they don't the only thing i think is really the same is the only thing that is really the same is the it's like what kind of weapon that like what kind of masterwork option there is like what was it um I forget what's the masterwork called um, I'm pretty, okay, there you go, uh, the Kindled Orchids and the Austrian, they both have, like, handling, like, masterwork weapons, like, they're both handling, I don't even know, like, they're both tier 3 handling, so that's the only thing that's the same, I don't even know what I was trying to say there, um, that's basically it, that's all, that's the same, it's like, they've both got tier 3 handling, and nothing else. Now, they do do the same amount of damage, and... The Ostringer, even with target accurate, like the even with the target adjusters, Ostringer still has worse, like still has a worse target acquisition than or aim assistance than Kindled Orchid. Now, this is for people who don't know, target adjuster adds five to aim assistance. That's what it does. So, I'm pretty sure the Ostringer has an aim assistance of like seventy, and you add five, and that makes seventy five. However, when looking at my Kindled Orchid, it has an aim assistance of 76, so it's still better. Like, even, like, it's still better, like, like to use for aim assistance or for console people. 
it's not much better, it's only about like one, so basically there's almost no difference, but it is still ridiculously good. Now, when actually, when I was using these weapons in, well, 66 as you can see, like, in the gameplay, I would say, like, with Kindled Orchid, Rampage was, was nice, like, Rampage and Surrounded, like, together, like, Surrounded, I, I didn't really see much. Rampage, I did see a lot. Like, whenever I got a kill and like I was able, I was able to do. Like, I, I got a kill with Kindle Orchid, and get Rampage, and then I got another kill, and like it was really easy. When you got a kill, it made it really you could do a lot of damage, especially it stacks up to three times. So you could like, if you also had, if you had like another perk, maybe like I don't think Surrounded is the best perk, but like if you had like another perk, like. Well, let me see, like, if you had, like, if you had a perk, like, Kill Clip, then you could probably be able to, you could probably two-tap with Rampage. Like, if you had Kill Clip and Rampage, you probably could two-tap. Now, with Ostringer, honestly, um, with Ostringer, Air Assault, never saw. Mainly because, well, there's no point of being in the air. And Opening Shot was useful because, well, improved accuracy and range on the opening shot of an attack. However, after that, you didn't, there was no increased range, it was just basic, so, yeah, I think that's all I have to say, so let's go into my final verdict, <clears throat> I don't even know what's wrong with my throat, um, so, now, for my final verdict, I think they're both ridiculously good weapons, the one I would prefer is Kindled Orchid, because, even though it felt worse at longer, it closer ranges, I meant. I meant to say closer ranges, not longer ranges. Well, start stuff. It was leave that in. It was better at close. It didn't feel as good at closer range than the Ostringer. However, it still was nice. And even though, and it did feel better at range, like a long range. Plus, I also prefer the design. The Ostringer I did like as well, but like I didn't like it as much as the Kindled Orchid. It is also the fact that I can't really compare these two weapons because they both got random perks, and the Kindled Orchid I think just is just better in perks. Like I think Surrounded and Rampage is better than Aerosol and Opening Shot. Anyway, that's oh. anyway, guys. That has been the video, and well, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, Alex H. E. signing off.